I often get the question, three tiers, how do I start at solo PvP? Or what tips do you have to make me better at PvP? And I usually answer something that I believe will help, but really isn't entirely helpful. Just do it. Practice. Lose a few ships. I usually give them a ship fitting, maybe a kiting stabber, and say, go needlejack out. Learn to kite. You'll die a hundred times and you'll learn a hundred things. Not only is this generally unhelpful, but I also think it discourages people to try PvP in the first place. I've decided I want to try and teach people better than that. So I'm creating a nullsec PvP quote unquote boot camp video series, this of course being the first. These short videos will introduce you to the many intricacies, challenges, and skills required to be successful at solo PvP. While the videos are specifically geared towards solo PvP, many of the videos will apply to players looking to PvP for the first time, trying to get better at small gang, or just to fill some gaps in their skill set. What these videos will not do is tell you what modules to push or when to push them or what fitting to put on your ship to win 90% of your fights. They will, however, try to help you think for yourself on an ever-changing battlefield and make decisions that will allow you to come out on top as often as possible. Now, let's get to the first video, Attitude. With solo PvP, the game's not going to be easy. You don't have scouts, you don't have logi, you don't have anyone watching your back. You're your own partner. Every skill you have and every piece of information you get, you get to use it against other people. They're gonna underestimate you, and you get to take advantage of it. People in EVE are ferocious, and vicious, angry people, and they all have different playstyles. Some of them will see a solo PvPer and be like, oh yeah, look at that, free kill. Because of that, you're gonna get blobbed. Everyone who's active in the area and wants to get on your kill too. They want to protect their space and protect their riders, so you're just gonna get a bunch of people on you and sometimes just because people are bored you're gonna get hot dropped blopsed on camped in whatever else you can think of it's probably gonna happen however some practice dedication time and a lot of losses in between you're gonna eventually get epic kills crazy escapes awesome stories and honestly the most rewarding online gameplay you're ever gonna experience anywhere like I said, it's really not going to be easy. This isn't a game you can just pick up and be good at. You will die. A lot. But to me, it's all worth it. Every kill I get, every loss I have, I learn something. I stop, think, what could I have done better? Every time. There's multiple lessons for every loss and every kill I have. There's going to be something you can improve. These are the kind of questions that you want to ask yourself after every engagement. Even the fights you want. How can I improve myself? You know, what could I have done better? You know, what could I have done to make this guy not be able to get away? Or how could I have gotten away from that? There's a saying I've heard that I like, uh, if you've ever reached perfection, you're not trying hard enough. While you're never really gonna reach perfection in this game, I think it kind of applies. Well, yes, it does suck to get put into a situation you can't get out of. Uh, a situation that you know you're about to lose your brand new ship that you've been excited to try for a long time now. You've been skilling up for months and finally got it, but, you know, it's about to die. It's disheartening, to say the least, but the loss is what makes this game worth it. The loss is what makes the wins so much sweeter. And that is why I say remain positive with it. Take a minute to knock off the shakes, collect yourself, and try again. So when you win, that feeling of adrenaline, that rush that no other game can, can provide, will be worth every loss. Now there's a few common misconceptions that some players, especially new ones, believe. Let's get those out of the way. Having all the skill points in the world does not make you a good PvP player. You could hand a good pilot a brand new tune, they'll outfly a brand new player with a perfect character in any ship they want, any day of the week, Thursday included. Only practice and experience can make you a good pilot. Skill points are just a means to an end. Having an expensive ship with all the best blingy modules in the world doesn't make you a good PvP either. Bling does push a ship past its normal limits and you know it is sometimes worth using. But if you don't use it correctly or effectively then what's the point? Bling makes good pilots better pilots, not bad pilots good pilots. And either way you'll probably die in it anyway, so keep that in mind. <laughs> and this video is kinda different, it isn't a direct tutorial, it doesn't tell you how to win fights or how to learn a skill. I hope that it helps you build the foundation of being a PvP or an EVE, rather than losing a few ships and quitting and thinking you're not good enough. The future 
videos in this series will focus on specific skills such as situational awareness, module management, hotkey usage, while some will talk about certain mechanics such as tracking, signature radius, and more. You can catch my stream at the link below where I do solo and small gang PvP and you know answer your questions and whatnot. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like and uh, share it with your friends who might be looking to get into PvP. Uh, it does help a lot. So thanks so much and uh, I guess fly dangerous.